Buried in Harley Davidson's promotional material was this one single photo of the new Nightster 975 with a heap of accessories fitted. Of interest to me in particular were the Mini Ape handlebars and forward controls. If you've seen my Indian Scout Bobber 20 test ride video, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one, you'll know I found the combination of Mini Ape handlebars and forward controls to be most desirable. So today I thought we'd take a look at how riders might fit with the Nightstar 975 accessory Mini Ape handlebars and forward controls installed. They are the two key options I'd be ticking if I bought this motorcycle. We'll be looking at riders ranging from 5'3 to 6'4 in four different configurations. We'll start with the stock bike as it comes standard out of the factory. We'll then do the stock bike with just the forward controls installed. We'll then do the stock bike with just the Mini Apes installed. And finally, we'll do the Knights the 975 with both the forward controls and Mini Apes installed. Now, fortunately, this photograph shows the exact placement of the forward controls. We'll use this photo as a guide for both the forward controls and Mini Ape handlebars. I'm curious to see just how much difference the forward controls and Mini Apes are going to make for riders across the board. The first thing I noticed when creating this artwork was that the forward controls appear to be placed one to two inches higher than the standard controls. If that's the case, the forward controls should provide for increased lean angles. The downside for taller riders, the benefit of increased legroom will be negated by your knees being lifted a little higher. We'll see how that goes in a tick. Another thing to note, it appears adding forward controls will relocate the rear brake master cylinder and reservoir to the outside of the motorcycle, where it remained hidden with the standard foot controls. Relocating these items may be a simple process, or it could add dollars to the cost of installation if being fitted by the dealer. Apart from the aesthetics, which I'll let you decide if you like or not, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, let's start with the stock bike. The Nystr 975 in its stock configuration is already surprising to me in the amount of room it has for a taller rider. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of a different direction from Harley Davidson in making their bikes a little longer in the frame to more readily accommodate a wider range of riders. This certainly appears to be the case with the new Harley Davidson Nightster 975. The most striking thing to me looking at these images is how comfortable the Nightster looks for riders six foot one and six foot four. Good work, Harley. Five foot three inch riders with measurements as shown here should be able to flat foot on the Nightster 975 and as usual, when seated or foot down, five foot nine is the sweet spot. Now let's fit the forward controls with the stock bars and see how they affect our riders. Instantly we can see that five foot three is in for a bit of a stretch. I'd stick with the standard controls here. Things get a little better at five foot six, but again, I'd recommend sticking with the standard controls. The riding position starts to look more comfortable at five foot nine, but again, I'd still recommend standard controls here. Stepping up to six foot one and the forwards start to make more sense, although the higher foot pegs are starting to lift the knees. And now six foot four. As expected, at this inside leg measurement, the knees are starting to get a little high. It's a pity. If they'd kept the forward controls at the same height as the standard controls, they would indeed be more comfortable for this rider. When comparing yourself to these renders, the key here is to accurately measure your inside leg. Don't just go on height. Even though you may be tall, it's still possible to have a shorter inside leg. That goes for every height, actually. Short legs or long legs is a variation throughout the height range. I'll also leave a link to a video showing how to accurately measure your inside leg at the end of this video. Now to the stock bike with Mini Apes. Instantly we can see the Mini Apes opening the bike up and raising our five foot three inch rider's hands almost to shoulder level. Five foot six looks a little more comfortable and again the five foot nine sweet spot. Rider looking very relaxed and comfortable with these Mini Apes. Six foot one also looks very comfortable. This is where Harley has been really surprising me with this bike and six foot four upper body looking very comfortable here. I'm including the feet down renders for all configurations because they're useful to see at what point your leg is going to make contact with the foot pegs when stopped at a set of lights, for instance. To compare your own situation here, focus on inside leg measurements, not height.
And finally, the Nightster 975 fitted with both the Ford controls and Mini Apes. Where the 5 foot 3 inch rider appears overly stretched when leaning forward to the lower stock bars with feet forward, this combination I think is more doable for the 5 foot 3 inch rider. 5 foot 6 is looking a little better, it will really come down to your own personal preference which foot peg option you prefer. 5 foot 9 looking very comfortable again. 6 foot 1 looking comfortable also, but I'm seeing even more comfort with the mini apes and standard foot control combination for this rider. 6 foot 4, in this instance, I might give the comfort nod to this configuration for this rider. Well, there you have it. If you were wondering if forward controls or mini apes might be for you on the Nightster 975, you now have a much better idea. Now remember, these videos are intended only as a guide. It's not an exact science. But I still feel they're accurate enough to at least put you in the ballpark and give a good indication whether these accessories might be right for you or not. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. And hopefully I'll get to see all of you again in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.